taking it away again. Well, you see the numbers of Kirk Cousins versus the Bears since last season. Those two contests in division against the Bears, both losses, completion percentage down, yards per attempt way down. And you see that 3-2 to two touchdown to interception ratio and a passer rating 30 points, darn near 30 points below the rest of the season. So for some of those nuggets of knowledge uh, on the bout in the city of broad shoulders. Let's uh, pick the brain of our Tom Pelissero. Uh, how about that Vikings offense and their plan to attack the number one, the number two, I should say, scoring defense in the league, Tom? Matt, in fairness to Kirk Cousins, there's a lot of quarterbacks whose numbers don't look as good against the Bears as they do against everybody else. Really, we've seen two completely different Minnesota teams through the first three weeks of the season. Week one and week three, they got up early at home, made some big plays in the running game. We're up 21 to nothing by the second quarter. Their one road game at Green Bay it was the exact opposite. They were down 21 to nothing in the second quarter. No team in NFL history has ever said, we want to start slow. But it's really true for the Vikings. As wide receiver Adam Thielen told me after last week's win over the Raiders. We've got to start fast because that plays to the strengths of what we do well. They are defined on offense by Dalvin Cook, who leads the NFL with 375 rushing yards. They want to control the clock, then let that defense go to work, turn loose the pass rush this week against Mitch Trubisky. If they get into a hole, well, all of a sudden that takes away the play action game, the things that Kirk Cousins does well, that gets away from what Minnesota wants to be. Weather could be a factor in this game too, Matt. There's a 50% chance of rain and scattered thunderstorms at Soldier Field, so probably not a day where anybody necessarily would want to be throwing the ball a lot. Yeah, and it almost seems like it's a very similar storyline for both of these teams. Dominant defenses, questions about the quarterback, and as you mentioned, a great way for the Vikings to get ahead is to lean on that defense, and there could be a return or at least some good injury news regarding those key players. The Vikings defense really is getting about as close to full health as they've been the entire season. Last week against Oakland, Mike Hughes, who was their first-round draft pick last year, nickel corner, he made his return. Well, this week, Anthony Barr, the linebacker, pro bowler, was a full participant in practice yesterday. He had sat out that Raiders game because of a groin injury, but he told me after he's confident that he would play this week, just didn't want to turn a one-week injury into two or three, and though he didn't say it, he doesn't want to miss a divisional game against the Bears either. Mackenzie Alexander, the Vikings' other nickel. He was a full participant in practice yesterday coming back from a dislocated elbow that he suffered in week one. Still not certain whether or not he's going to be good to go against the Bears. Expect that one to be more of a game time decision. And on offense, Josh Klein, one of their starting guards, not practicing again today. He remains in the concussion protocol. Could be Dakota Dozier making a start for the Vikings this week against a Bears front that, as we all know, one of the best in the NFL, though the status of one of their top players, defensive tackle Akeem Hicks, also may not be decided until Sunday. Now, I cannot speak to his skill level, but in name alone, I'm getting behind the guy named Dakota Dozier, who is uh, going to be blocking for me up front. Thank you, Tom.